Happy Tuesday out there, Team 42. It's your skipper here at Darius Dell to present our Macro Minute for Tuesday, March 26, 2024. As always, we'll start with the executive summary from today's leadoff morning note. If you would like the analysis supporting these conclusions, as well as what to specifically do about them in your portfolio, you need to be a client of 42 Macro. So we'll start with today's key macro event, which is mixed signals from the U.S. goods sector, plus our green shoots globally theme continues to work. So the nuance there is that the latest collection of domestic economic releases contain mixed signals from the U.S. goods sector. On the one hand, both durable goods and CapEx growth slowed in February. On the other hand, the growth of new home sales accelerated in February amid inflation in house prices in January. Elsewhere, Brent crude oil is up 5% month over month, outperforming the 4% gain for both the S&P 500 and NASDAQ 100 amid better than expected economic activity from around the globe. In terms of market implications, uh, per the 42 macro uh, global liquidity monitor, every major economy in the world except Canada has a composite PMI reading that is trending higher and economic surprises are decidedly positive in each of the four largest economies, just as we called for them to be in late last year. I refer to our uh, uh, November 22nd, November 29th, and, and December 5th lead off morning notes for more details. Uh, we are confident in reiterating uh, our Green Shoots globally theme here which itself implies uh, the risk on market regime uh, is likely to persist for at least another quarter. I refer to our December 15th and, and, and January 24th leadoff morning notes for more details on that particular uh, theme. So uh, getting into our, our, our 42 macro uh, a dashboard here, uh, we'll start as always with the uh, trading ring signals uh, from our friends over at Longbow, actually get a little uh, some, some weirdness there. So we'll, we'll ignore that for now. We'll get, get back to you tomorrow on those. Uh, and then we'll wrap it up with a question uh, from our community. Uh, this one reads, uh, crypto is a time to degross? Question mark. Uh, so the question reads, uh, it has been clear skies on the crypto world up until now. Uh, Bitcoin showing lower highs in the ranges, time to degross. Uh, global liquidity is also slowing in the opinion on that subject. So uh, uh, so just in terms of the ranges, so the ranges are a short term tactical signal uh, using the you don't you, you should not be using probable ranges uh, to uh, or, or any training range process uh, in the world uh, to as, as a signal to broadly degross your, your medium to longer term exposure and asset. You should only be using tactical signals like trading ranges to uh, think about uh, sizing your position or sorry, timing, you know, any sort of uh, buys or sells. Uh, from a tactical standpoint, i.e., uh, uh, you know, taking some chips off the table when something's overbought or, or speeding up your dollar cost averaging process when an asset is oversold. You know, the decisions that uh, the signals that uh, we use in our process that give investors uh, very clear uh, and, and inaccurate signals on the degrossing front are, are our market regime now casting process. That's the number one uh, signal you're going to want there uh, is in terms of uh, thinking about a uh, degrossing from from crypto and obviously we just said we were still very much uh, in a risk on market regime uh we also know that the volatility adjusted momentum signal for the particular asset bitcoin or or for ethereum and, and most uh, crypto uh, uh, currencies uh, remains bullish uh, that so that is another uh, clear signal that we would use to uh, degross so when we think about this uh from a degrossing perspective we all we want to know two things what's the top down market regime signaling should we be taking down risk broadly in a particular uh, asset class or a set of factors within an asset class. And then two, from a bottom up standpoint, what is that particular asset or factors, volatility, adjusted momentum signal signaling about the prospective returns for that asset. And right now you're getting two thumbs up uh, uh, for both for Bitcoin and crypto broadly. Uh, and I know, oh, by the way, uh, both U.S. and global liquidity continue to trend higher, at least according to uh, our macro weather model. So uh, no real change in no, no change. Uh, in, in our views on, on crypto, and we continue to make a decent amount of money uh, for our clients on, on the long side of risk, broadly speaking, uh, due to the uh, the risk on market regime that we, we've highlighted uh, and, uh, really since going back to uh, mid to late November. So we'll wrap it up there. Darius Dell here presenting our Macro Minute for Tuesday, March 26th. Uh, everyone have a wonderful day. Best of luck out there. We'll catch you back here tomorrow. Cheers.